Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bumisetim. Today we'll see dual table and some of the date functions we are using regularly in real time projects. Dual table, it's a Oracle provider one. So in Oracle database only, this dual table will be available. It has one column and one value. The name of the column is dummy and the value is X. So if you query select star from BL, you will get dummy as the column name and X. So this is one of the important interview questions they will ask, like what is the dual table and what is the data type of dummy column? So data type of dummy column is where cat two of one. The main purpose of this dual table is to check the logic or to check any functions. We'll make use of this dual table. Now we'll see some of the date functions we are using regularly in our real time projects. How to get today's date? So if you want to get today's date by using state, we can able to get the things. Select state from dual. Okay. So what are the operations if you want to know? We can able to use by using dual table. Like if you want to know any functions, we can able to set search by using dual table. Select state from dual. Okay. So that it will give today's date. Suppose today's date is seventh May twenty twenty two. I want to display today's date in Howard's format. If you want to display in any format, we'll make up to care function. Select two care of state D D M O N Y Y how H H in the sense like hour M I in the sense like minutes S is seconds okay so if you see seventh May twenty twenty two ten forty two fifty eight okay so if you want only hour you can able to put H H if you want only hour minutes we need to put H H M I so based on requirement like a company's requirement we need to display like this so, so if you want to have by using two care function we can able to get the things done. My requirement is that I want to add one hour to the current date. Okay, so if you want to get the current date, we'll make it of six date. So my requirement is that I want to add one hour to the current date. So if you see seventh May twenty twenty two, current time is ten forty two, fifty eight seconds. So I want to make it as eleven forty two, fifty eight seconds. So we know that in a day we have twenty four hours. If you want to have one hour to be added, we need to do. Sixty-eight plus one by twenty-four, so that what one hour will be added to the existing time. That is ten forty-two. It will come to eleven forty-two fifty-eight. So if you want to add two hours, we need to add two by twenty-four. If you want to add five hours, five by twenty-four. If you want to add one day, we need to divide by twenty-four by twenty-four. It will it will be sixty-eight plus one, so that tomorrow's date will come. So if you want to get uh, like one hour minus now, we need to put sixty-eight minus one by twenty-four, so that like nine forty-two fifty-eight will come. In a similar way, if I want to add one minute to the current date, what we need to do? If we get, if we want to get get a current date, we need to get sixty eight from dial. So that what seventh May twenty twenty two ten forty two fifty. This is the current time date plus time. So by using sixty eight, we can able to get. My requirement is that I need to add one minute to the current date. That is like ten forty two fifty eight. We need to convert as ten forty ten forty three fifty. So we know that in a day we have one twenty four hours. In one hour, we have sixty minutes. So that what we need to do, we need to divide one by twenty-four into sixteen. So if you see here, sixty plus one by twenty-four into sixteen. So that one hour, one minute can be added to the existing timestamp. So ten forty-two, it converted to ten forty-three fifty-eight. Suppose if I want to add two minutes, two by twenty-four into sixteen. If I want to subtract, we need to do. Minus. So if you want to add, we need to one uh, plus. If I want to subtract, we need to make minus. So now months between. So main purpose of this months between is to, it will give the number of months between two dates. We need to pass two dates as parameters: one day, starting date, and ending date. So it will give what? It will give. It will give number of months between two dates. If you see six date plus three sixty five six date, so it will be like so one year. So one year in the sense like two all months will be there. So we need to pass two dates. So it will give number of days. If it is a positive value, it will give positive. If it is a negative value, it will give negative. So this is the months between concept. Next first day of the current year. Okay, these are the important interview questions they will ask. Like they want to know whether first day of the current year. Okay, so how can we know first we need to take, if any requirement is there, we'll make it of six state. Select six state from DL. Okay, my requirement is that I want to make first day of the current year. So by using trunk function, we can able to achieve this thing. Trunk of year. So if you put year now, what will happen? It will give first day of the current month. That is January first, twenty twenty. So trunk of six state comma year. So it will give first day of the year. Okay, this is very very important. So next question is that first day of the current month. So current month is what May. So in May, I want to get first May twenty twenty two. So by using trunk functionally, we can able to achieve trunk of month. So if you put trunk of month, it will give 
ఫస్ట్ మే ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ ఇఫ్ ఐ పుట్ ఫస్ట్ ఇఫ్ ఐ వాంట్ ఫస్ట్ డే ఆఫ్ ద కరెంట్ ఇయర్ వీ నీట్ పుట్ ఇయర్ ఇఫ్ ఐ వాంట్ మంత్ విల్ పుట్ మంత్ సో గెటింగ్ ద పాయింట్ so next if you see here i my one more important question is that last day of the current month so in the current month i want to know last day of the month so last day in the sense like 31st may 2022 i need to display so we have one predefined oracle provider function that is last day so by using last day we can able to get current month last day last day 31st may 2022 okay so last day it will give last day of the current month so next important interview question is that last day of the current year okay so they want last day of the current year current year in the sense like 31st december 2022 i need to print okay so if you want to do any any this type of achievement in this type of queries first we need to make a select state from them it will do current date that is 7th may 2022 104258 so for this query so i am trunking state comma year so it will give what it will give it will give first day of the current year that is january 1st 2022 so if you go trunk of this state comma here it will give first day of the year so for this for this existing thing what we need to i am adding add months by using add months concept i am adding 11 months to the current that is like first day january 22 so first january 2022 i am adding 11 months it will give what it will give december 1st 2022 okay so if so if you get this one no, by by using last date function you can able to get the things so last day last date will give last day in the sense like it will give 31st december 2022 so if you want to solve this achievement we need to follow like trunk of add months last day function so if you know all this concept it would be easy to understand okay so we'll see one more time my requirement is that i want to print last day of the current year current year in the sense like 31st december 2022 i need to print so select this state from real it will give current date that is 7th may 2022 so now by using trunk of this state comma year what it will do it will give first day of the current year that is january 1st 2022 for this january 2022 i am by using add months concept i am adding 11 months so add months what it will do it will add 11 months to the january 1st 2022 that is like it will convert into january convert into 01 De- december 2022 so by using last year function we can able to get january december 2022 it will give last year in the sense like 31st december 2022 so if you want to solve this query you should know state trunk what is trunk function use advanced concept last time. so if you know all this concept now it would be easy to crack any entry okay now we'll see some of the real time use case of this date functions okay so otp validation you know that like whatever transactions to be done the otp will be generated and it will validate for one or two minutes okay so if you want to know by using c state we can able to get the thing so c state c state that is the otp generated time and if you think like otp is valid for one minute so what is the answer? otp generated time does a system and it will be valid for one minute so c state plus 1 by 24 into 60 so we're adding one minute to the current time stamp okay if you see 7th May 2022, 632, 54. 7th May 22, 633, 54. So 632, 54 to 633, 53. The OTP is value. If the OTP is entered between the range only, it will be value. Okay. So by using what, if you know the concept, we can able to generate OTP and we can able to validate them. So by using what? Sys state, sys state plus 1 by 24. We are adding 1 minute. So how can we add? Sys state plus 1 by 24 into 16. If, if you want like 2 minutes, 2 by 24 into 60. If you want 3 minutes, 3 by 24 into 16. So if OTP is valid for 3 minutes, so we need to plus Sys state plus 3 by 24 into 16. So this is one of the real-time use case. We'll see one of the real-time use case, one more real-time use case. That is, I need to get last year transaction. Last current year is what? 2022. I need to get, I need to extract last year transaction in the sense like 2021 data I need to extract. So by using what select star from assume like bank table is one of the table. Okay. Where by using two care only, you can able to achieve this thing two care of transaction date. Assume like transaction days is one of the column. Okay. So you want to extract 2021. So what two care will do? It will extract into by way. So only it will extract a year. And if it is 2021 matches, then it will extract the real time. Okay. So this is one of the real time use case. Like if you want to extract current month, we can able to get DDM, ONY. If we want to get two days date, we can able to get by using two care. Okay. So these are the real time use cases. So you should know what is two care function, what is date function, what is real table. So if you know all these things, it would be easy to understand any type of requirements. Okay. So if you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.